so third day of the five day challenge uh, another synth for my multi-pot thing um, I'm still using the, the same mapping sketch in Super Collider but this time I'm mapping it to a granular playback synth def okay so the red pot uh, controls the position in the buffer from which grains are drawn so it scrubs through the, the file quite simply so you can play forwards backwards and freeze Pot number two, the green one, controls how many grains we get per second. So there's one every half second. No, one every two seconds, sorry. Up to around about 60 grains per second. I mean, it could be 200. It's quite nice. And then the blue pot is doing the duration, controls the duration of the grains between 30 milliseconds and one second. And now we have grain pitch. Minus two, plus two, and then pitch modulation. Uh, no modulation. Wow, it gets kind of fun. So we'll find somewhere nice in the file. Some nice breath noise there. So we will several grains per second. Now grain duration. And pitch. Now let's do some pitch modulation and start to read through the file again. Let's go to RGB, let's go to grain duration. So it, it should be fairly clear, and uh, the proof of any interaction map is can you get back to where you were. Uh, so this is file playback, this is grains per second, it's grain duration, it's pitch. And that's modulation. I think the brains might be a bit long. Red. 
And then we are back to uh, square one. That's a great little synth that. Grain for grains per second. going on in Super Collider is, um, well it's hacked from the, the T grains to help file. Um, uh, grain position, number of grains, length of grain, this is pitch modulation. Um, all reading from a buffer which you fill with an audio file. Um, it's all good. And then you can see that the uh, my action, this Arduino action, it's it's just doing exactly the same as the quantized frequency modulator synth from yesterday. So it's, it's using this kind of switch case thing where it looks for each header, and then maps the pot value to uh, different parameters, so grain position, rate duration, pitch, modulation speed and depth. It's all good. And next thing on the agenda is uh, this chap here, which has uh, an IR sensor, a pot again. I'll have another um, LED pad to cycle through the functions of each of these different uh, controllers. Uh, a linear pot um, and then five capacitive touch sensors um, and how I map them is well I'll see how we go tomorrow <laughs> 